Stage one of the Subaru National Road Series begins in Woodside in the beautiful Adelaide Hills. 37 kilometres from Adelaide, Woodside is the place to go for cheese, chocolate and a helping hand. Today we're going from Woodside to Murray Bridge. It's just on 60 kilometres. It's a slightly downhill run for the first half. It's going to be a very, very fast race. It's considered a short race, so I can see it being quite aggressive and very hard. It always seems when the shorter the stage, the harder the race. So um, I reckon there's going to be a few fireworks. Yeah, it's up to the to the tactic of the teams, and uh, we we will look. Uh, how defend our position. We are a lot of sprinters in our team, so maybe we want a fast sprint. I love sprinting um, so much uh, on the bike, and I, and I really love being tested. So you have to get your positioning right. You have to let let it go full gas at the right point. You have to think about wind and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah, I love it. My tip for the race is Kimberly Wells. I think it's going to come together in a bunch sprint, and she's one of the fastest girls in Australia, the Australian Criterium champion. Well, as expected, it was going to be a very fast stage. About an hour and a half we thought it would take. A cross tailwind is what helped propel the girls along. One of the attacks of the day was from the young Shannon Mulseed. She's the Australian under 23 champion and she was one of the attacks that everyone had to chase. It wasn't long before she was reeled in by Orica and also Wiggle. Being a small person, not really a sprinter, I didn't have a chance up against the big girls so I decided, we decided as a team that um, we would attack the race and um, for, unfortunately didn't get away with it but we had a go which was the plan. The race started to break up, it started to splinter but surprisingly it all came back together. Why? Because of a freight train. The freight train came through, they stopped the front bunch on the road, the second group came back together. However, the commissaires decided to put a time check on the second group, allowing the front group to leave, and the second group happened to wait some 25 seconds on the side of the road before they got underway. When they did get underway, it was Orica Green Edge, showing that they've got all the strength in the world out there today, and it was their Italian, Scandalara, who rode off the front so strongly in the last part of the race, the last 15 kilometres. Yeah, I was really excited today, and we worked so well in the, um, in the part where the crosswind were. And when we saw that the other girls were a bit tired, uh, I attacked solo. However, Wiggle and High Five got on the front. They had sprinters to ride for. They brought the gap back to six seconds by the finish. But Scandalara was the winner of today's stage. Lauren Kitchen took out the sprint for second place. Oh, she is absolutely wrapped. Wow, nice. I was looking forward to it. <laughs> Thanks. Did they make it? So we wanted to make the race hard in the first climbs after the uh, QOM, but yeah, everyone was so fresh that we couldn't do that. And then we hoped there were a lot, there was a, uh, some more wind, but there were not. There was not. And then in the part where the crosswind were, we went uh, as as planned, and we broke up the bunch. And then yeah, uh, it was not planned that uh, we attacked the solo, but I tried. I saw the occasion and I went. It's my first race of 2015, so in Italy we say Chi ben comincia e a metà dell'opera. The general classification sees Scandalara leading by six seconds over Lauren Kitchen, who is King of the Mountains and Sprint King leader.